All right, boys, here today, I wanted to talk about my favorite unit, A.M. Melly. You, you know him, I know you do. This legend right here, the man that goes by many names, the missing fifth weapon, most shafted unit in Grand Cross history. Uh, that's Camilla, my bad. Um, there, there's many names. The, the most shafted passive, and then one year later, releasing a better unit than him. Remember, that, that's him. So again, today, will Esserosa, will anything in the future, actually revive Assault Mumiliotis? Will he get better, or is he stuck at what he's at right now? And I know people say, and they'd love to say, he's still meta. I want, I want, I want to have what you're having because you're having something great and it's wonderful, man. But today we're talking about it. Let's jump into it. So again, if you're wondering what's the problem with AML, if you don't know what that is, if you're missing out, first, fifth weapon, not a great big deal, but it's annoying. Second thing, his passive is mainly designed around Demon Race. It's around, it's designed around those characters that really haven't got an update in like forever right? They really haven't. What do I mean by that? Heading over here to GC database. If you want to look at it, you, you will see this and it's actually depressing. Okay. Go down this list, go down this list of units and tell me to stop when you see a demon unit that is not Meliodas, right? Meliodas, that's a demon unit. Melascula, fine. You know, she was, she was all right. She didn't really help at all. Uh, what is it? AM Meli. She was good for some other stuff. Demon unit, fine. One demon unit, two demon unit. That's Meli. Doesn't really count. So let's say one demon unit this year. That's not Meli. Cusack was about a year ago. If you look at it, we're about to approach that mark where Cusack released. So in one year, we basically got one demon unit. The other demon unit before this was Sigurd, who was, you know, a hybrid unit. So there was that. Before that, you really didn't see one until this April. So again, April, um, there was Execution of Zeldris and then Chandler. Before that, I think there was also like, what, Derriere here, which is Valentine's Dairy. So you kind of don't see that many demon units. This year was mainly Unknown Race and Human. Right, that, that, was, that was basically it. Fairy got um, two fairy units. We had, uh, what is it, Harlequin, and we had, I think we had, who was it, Elaine. So we had two fairy units. We had, what, five giant units, which were all Deanne, then one Matrona. This year, dude, uh, giants were just bawling. They literally had five DNs. Oh my God. But again, you know, you kind of see, yes, Melee hasn't been getting that much insane support. We all thought that, like, remember ReZero at that point? We thought that they were going to make them demon units, and then boom, he's going to get support. That didn't happen. But now, we later had a release of Trader Meliodas. With Trader Meliodas, the reason he was better is because he is the complete opposite of what AML is. AML required people to attack him, which it really wasn't super helpful, because if you just didn't attack him, and then you just went for your ult, you could win, right? That was the entire point of it, yeah? With AML, the point of him, or not Emily, Trader Melly, the point of him is all you need to do. He's not like locked behind a team. He's not locked behind anything. The thing he's locked behind only is single target attacks. That's all he needs. Literally, that's all he needs. If you have a character that has a single target, which majority have, this character works. It builds up his passive. With his passive, he will then go in nuke. He's of dark, um, what is it, the darkness attribute. So he kind of does good there. At that point, they were releasing a lot of red characters that, you know, kind of beat Melly, you know, like just easily. Again, this is darkness. Second, his two cards are insanely strong. His ultimate's super strong. His passive works with anybody. So many characters buff him. It was a great, great experience. And that is why just Trader Melly was superior. That's it. But now the point of the video is to talk about, is Melly gonna get better? Is AMLE going to get better? is releasing. Remember that that's happening. Will he actually go and buff him? What's gonna happen with that? And I kind of already think that, you know, we know what's happening. Let me show it to you. Remember, this is the passive for new Demon Channel, the one that was leaked by 70s leaks. And again, if you go off of anything, it was very close to how the Hawk passive was when it released. Right now, this could change at any point. We know that. But if you do read it off and like kind of understand it, this mainly is a buff in like the first part of it. In PvP, if every ally in the battlefield is demon race or unit with commandments, increase all allies' pierce rate by 40%. It also is a buff to AML here. Increase the damage dealt that by demon race or unit with commandments by 15% for each debuff the enemy has, right? So this does help out Meli, it does help out a lot. Esterosa can have a passive like that, but if you look at it in the way of this being the Excalibur Arthur to Bond, like this is just that unit that will buff Esterosa, that's mainly what it does. Plus, this unit with Trader Meliodas will be, in my opinion, way better than anything. 40% extra pierce rate on Trader Melly with his pierce card is literally outstanding. If you go back and look at it, again, this is his pierce card, that 40% extra pierce will definitely, definitely help out a ton. Plus, if you get it, you know, working on the second part of that passive um, with each debuff that's applied, 15% extra damage dealt, that's also pretty good. So again, with, you know, that uh, Chandler, 
he could do way better just by you know sorting out a Trinidad Meliodas team and then if you know Escherosa has Pierce cards mainly they'll work for him with Ameli he kind of just falls out to be outdated but again when it does come to Ameli I know that I'm saying that you know there's no hope for him but yes Esteros has a chance he definitely does if he mainly just has a good passive he kind of works in a way with Ameli there is potential there is potential to bring this unit back finally but the thing that I feel is more likely to happen is Ameli actually getting a good relic and I think the relic is a big way in changing this unit you've seen it like Milam Milam literally her relic made Milam way better that change made her so much better Benny Morrow's relic wasn't half bad that relic that is given to Demon Lord Rimuru 80% extra pierce is nasty it's literally the best thing you've seen units get revived because of a relic Magelda she wasn't the best plus that relic she's insane the bird is so much easier than she than it was before so you kind of see a relic changes the unit Melly could get that treatment he really could and again i know it exists that you know we're not getting the demon relics for a good amount of time because these are the upcoming ones so again we have giant now that's gonna happen later on when we get closer to the demon stuff we will see um so amle doesn't have much hype until then again it's a few months probably right after this we might get another set um then maybe we finally get into demon relics and hopefully it is for this boss again we get a mat from it basically so it should happen but again with that we're waiting on that relic that relic could definitely help him Esterosa has potential that Chandler passive isn't half bad he could also give some support to Ameli but you have to understand also Trinder Meli is really good and he kind of is a little bit more superior to Ameli um for that reason of him you know being a darkness attribute his ultimate being super nasty um you only you know don't have to run on just a demon team you can expand it to any team you can run rumor with him you can run right on on the bench for him you can run Eskimo with him you can run just like a full dps team um and that will really work with you summer merlin uh blue what is it lilia any character will work with him and that is the point of why turner is so good so again even if Ameli gets like most insane buffs will he be running pvp that's a question we have to answer later on as we see what he gets um so again for everyone like for anyone that wants the hope and hype for Ameli there's potential Esterosa has it Chandler has it those two units that they want to bring back demon meta this is the time relics also that's going to be super big let's say you know one of the supporting units for the Ameli team gets a good relic that could change you could have an insane comeback um for him and he could actually be viable again um, which everyone's been waiting for literally everyone's been waiting for that so we'll see what happens right only time will tell and again demon meta might come back with relics never don't mess it up please don't mess it up but yeah that's what i want to leave with you here today again we'll see what Esterosa drops to be in seven days hopefully the entire hype is there and they do good by this festival 2.5 last year was who cusack and margaret margaret originally released and sucked maybe they learn from their mistakes and they're going to actually release Esterosa to be very good so that you can actually summon for him and enjoy with him not like margaret because she messed up on stream remember that it was like a nightmare but yes catch you guys the next one have fun stay safe that's been it for me